hello guys this is continuations of selenium interview questions and answers right and we will see uh, some more examples of uh, important questions which we often get in the interview right so let's say if somebody will ask you how can you uh, locate an element by only partial matching its attribute value in xpath so you can say that by using contents method we can locate an element by partially matching its attribute value and this is particularly helpful in the scenario where uh, attributes have dynamic value with certain constant parts so let's say what happens is you have an id and the half of the id is fixed but half of the id will change with some number right let's say uh, id underscore one two three id underscore two three four id underscore three five six so every time it changes in that situations you can go for contents at name is equal to user and you can use that how can we locate the element using their text in the xpath so how you can use the text in the xpath so we can use a uh, uh, slash a star text is equal to username so if there is a text in the xpath we can go for slash a star text is equal to username how can we move to the parent of element using xpath so let's say you are uh, in the child object right now you need to go to the parent object so when you put two double two dot when you put right it will take you to the parent of that child element okay you will come back to the parent uh, how can we move to the nth child using selenium xpath so what happens is there are two ways you can do that one you can do div of two so let's say there are five div and you want to go to the second div you can do div of two or you can use function called div at positions is equal to three so this will take you to the third element okay so either you go for div of two or div of positions is equal to three what is the syntax of finding element by class using css selector so if you look at this html tag here for css uh, for the css and for the class you can use dot class name so here class is called to input text right you can write dot input text through which you can identify the class name by using css selector what is the syntax of finding by id using css selector you can use hash email so here id is equal to email right you can use hash email so in css to uh, indicate id we use hash how can we select element by uh, their attributes value using css selector so you can use attribute is equal to value by by using this you can identify the css selector you can see that here i'm using input attribute type is equal to email in xpath we do double slash input at we use at type here we don't use in css we just use attribute name is equal to attribute value how can we move to the nth child element using css selector so let's say you are on the form okay and you need to come to this second tr so how do you come that so there is a function called nth child by using nth child you can go there so you can just write has login form because id right so id in css we have to use has angle bracket when you come when you want to come down you have to use angle bracket tab table and angle bracket t body so you came here and then angle bracket colon you can use colon is very important nth hyphen child of two when you do it will take you to the second tr what is the fundamental difference between xpath and css so the fundamental difference between xpath and css is using xpath we can uh, transverse up in the document like you can go up okay but in case of css you cannot go up you have to always go downwards in the document you have to always go down 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 how can we launch the different browser in selenium there are ways you can create the instance of the browser and you can launch the browser you can do chrome internet uh, explorer safari and firefox so these are the ways you can create the instance of browser and you can launch that so with this i will close this video in next video i will cover some more important questions and answers thank you guys thank you for watching this